This project is to build a sci-fi style prop grenade launcher with a telescopic barrel. I'm using this vacuum cleaner tube as the basis for the gun because it's telescopic and therefore adds an interesting element to the prop. So to start with I want a pistol shaped handle to add to the vacuum cleaner tube. For this I'm using an old glue gun. This is a broken one which I managed to destroy during an earlier prop build. So I'm simply going to cut the plastic of the vacuum cleaner tube and mount this in place. I'd like to introduce you to my glamorous assistant who isn't even my cat, he's the neighbour's cat who gets a bit bored during the day and likes to come and see what's going on. So uh, I'm not sure quite what help he's going to be but uh, at least he'll keep me company. I've glued the glue gun in place. The next stage is to chop off this piece of plastic at the top here and then mount a stock at the back of the piece. I've attached the stock to the back of the gun using a couple of metal pipes. This will need to be finished off with some epoxy putty at a later stage. I'm going to build a magazine at the top of the gun to hold the grenades. I want the grenades to be visible so I'm going to build a piece at the front and a piece at the back so you'll see the grenades between them. So I'm going to do this using some plastic pipe which I'm going to cut in half and then glue on either side. I've made the magazine by gluing the two halves of the plastic tube to the top of the gun. I've then reinforced this using some pieces of plastic and some pieces of metal. I'm using these plastic vitamin tubes as ammunition. So the spacing is based on the length of these tubes. I've used epoxy resin to fill in around, <laughs> got some help again here on the neighbour's cat. <laughs> so I've used epoxy resin to fill in around the uh, gaps in the gun here and at the edge of the magazine. It has a twofold purpose. One, it holds the pieces in place and two, it actually strengthens the whole gun whilst filling in gaps to give it a better visual appeal. I'm going to extend the barrel slightly by adding a piece of black plastic tube. This will glue in place. I'm now going to spray paint the gun with a matte black paint. Here's the gun after spraying with a coat of matte black paint. I'm now going to add some extra details by adding some yellow flashes on different parts of the gun. To represent the ammunition I'm going to use these plastic vitamin tubes. I'm going to sand them and then paint them red. I've just painted the vitamin tubes with a red gloss paint. I've used yellow acrylic paint just to highlight parts of the gun as decoration. Here's the completed piece with the barrel extended. This can be compressed. And here's a close-up of the completed piece with the barrel pushed in. 